Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share with your fellow denarian friends to help support our channel. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. Thank you. Check out the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the dinar community. Created by a denarian, for denarians, to ensure your exchange goes smoothly and for mapping out all your future financial goals and assets, including the Vietnamese dong, Iranian rial, and of course gold and silver, my favorites. Use the promo code. The denarian and get 25% off along with the newly upgraded mobile application added free for my subscribers. A preview of both the mobile application and the desktop planner is made available on the website for your convenience. Go check them both out today. I also recommend you register as an affiliate today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program, the gold program designed to save gold in your choice from a gram up to any amount you would like. They mount each fully certified gram of gold on a credit card style placard for easy storage and send it directly to your door via FedEx. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone. It is free to register and get yourself all set up for post exchange gold purchasing. By getting yourself registered today, it will be one less thing you will have to worry about doing later. Both the links to the currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. Always remember, knowledge is power, using that knowledge is powerful. First article of interest for today, the Pope of the Vatican stresses the necessity of prioritizing the language of dialogue and understanding to support the stability of Iraq. The Pope of the Vatican, His Holiness, Pope Francis stress the need to prevail in the language of dialogue and understanding and to promote peaceful coexistence to consolidate love, peace and moderation in Iraq. A statement on the office of the President of the Republic, Alec Beria, received a copy of it, said that the latter met in the Vatican, His Holiness, Pope Francis, and an official reception of His Eminence was received by the Pope and a number of cardinals and bishops at the Vatican headquarters. During the meeting, the President of the Republic affirmed that brotherhood and peaceful coexistence between Muslims, Christians and other sects is the only way to eliminate extremism in all its forms and forms, indicating that terrorist crimes that affected all Iraqi components do not pertain to the tolerant teachings of the Islamic religion. The President pointed out that the solution to the crises that the region suffers from comes through dialogue and understanding pointing out the importance of strengthening efforts aimed at bringing peace and stability in the region, praising the sincere positions of the Pope and urging unity and harmony among all Iraqis, and the keenness and calls of His Holiness to establish security and peace, and live what is common between the followers of heavenly religions and preventing further escalation regionally and internationally. In turn, Pope Francis stressed the need to continue to support the stability of Iraq, indicating the importance of giving priority to the language of dialogue and understanding and promoting peaceful coexistence to consolidate love, peace and moderation. The statement continued that, during the meeting, arrangements for the papal visit to be His Holiness to Iraq were discussed at a later time. The President had met His Holiness the Pope at the Vatican on 24 November 2018 while this visit and the region are facing unprecedented challenges. Next article of interest, a semi-final agreement on one of the candidates will be assigned upon Saleh's return to the country. An informed political source revealed that a semi-final agreement was concluded on one of the candidates for prime minister and that he will be assigned upon the return of the President of the Republic to the country. The source said to Euphrates News that the political blocs reached semi-final agreements on a candidate for prime minister, noting that there is a candidate who has reached the final stages of the agreement. The source revealed, contacts were held with the President of the Republic regarding him and he is expected to assign him upon his return, noting that intensive meetings took place during the past three days away from the media. Earlier last week, a political source ruled out the possibility that the candidate to head the new government be outside the names offered. 
The source said to Euphrates News that some sites have deliberated that the candidate who will be assigned will be a name outside the proposed names, and this is not true, and so far no candidate has been put out of what was announced. He added, this crisis is on its way to a solution in detente, as soon as the President of the Republic comes from his travel, as an official announcement will be made of assigning one of the candidates from the names presented to the discussion table and revealing them to the public. The political leaders have identified five candidates to assign one of them to the next Prime Minister, who are Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, Mustafa Akazemi, Qasim al Araji. Ali Abdul, Amir Alawi and Ali Shukri. Next article of interest. President Saleh returns to Iraq after his participation in Davos and his official visit to Italy. President of the Republic returned Baram Saleh, on Saturday evening, to Suleymania, after his participation in the Davos Economic Forum and his visit to Italy. According to press sources, that the President arrived in Suleymania on Thursday evening coming from Italy. It is worth mentioning that the President of the Republic participated in the Davos Economic Forum, which was held from 21 to 24 January, and gave a speech on the situation witnessed by Iraq and the region on the second day of the forum, in addition to his meeting with a large number of heads and leaders of the world on the margin of Davos, before heading to Italy on Friday, will meet with his counterpart Sergio Mattarella and Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte alongside Pope Francis, at the Vatican today. Next article of interest. al Fata. the nomination of the Prime Minister will be decided on Sunday morning. The al Fata coalition announced, on Saturday, January 25, 2020, that a candidate for Prime Minister will be announced on Saturday evening or next Sunday morning indicating that the number of demonstrations is decreasing after achieving most of its demands. The deputy of al Fathfad Hiljaber said that most of the demonstrators' demands were fulfilled in the matter of the election law and a new, independent commission and the reabrogation of their contracts and others, which led to a decline in the number of demonstrators in the squares. He added that the last important joint is the naming of the Prime Minister from a non-dialectical figure that eliminates the tension that exists between the protesters and the government and contains them, which is the most important point for them. He explained that the President of the Republic will announce the name of the candidate to form the government on Saturday evening or next Sunday morning, in response to the demands of the demonstrators and the demands of the religious authority in Najaf. Next article of interest. Tehran does not exclude negotiations with Washington. Shafiq News Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif said on Saturday that Tehran does not exclude negotiations with Washington even after the assassination of the Quds Force commander Qasem Soleimani, provided that it changes its approach and removes sanctions. In an interview with the German newspaper, Der Spiegel, Zarif added that the assassination of Soleimani was the beginning of the withdrawal of American forces from Iraq and possibly from the region, noting that Iran had done a lot of harm to the United States. He said, the United States, with all its military might, was unable to prevent Iranian missiles from targeting American bases in Iraq. Iran targeted two U.S. military bases in Iraq, on January 8. In response to the assassination of Soleimani with a U.S. airstrike. Next article of interest. Iraqi rebels accuse Sadr of treason in exchange for Iranian promise. The Coordinating Committee for the October demonstrations in Iraq issued a strongly worded statement against the Shiite leader Muqtada al Sadr, accusing him of shame and disgrace and betraying the rebels after the security forces broke up the Basra sit-in as soon as Sadr supporters withdrew from it. The shock forces arrested a number of demonstrators in connection with the breaking up of the Basra sit-in by force, and scenes documenting the storming and burning of tents. He rode our wave, rode it, and tried to take advantage of us. The statement added, Stay in the arenas until achieving the goals of the revolution and we will not let the blood of the martyrs down and they will not be a card on the political trading table as Sadr did. The statement concluded by saying, what he did was shame and betrayal of the revolutionaries, and its price will be to lead the next government as promised by Iran.
the dispersal of the Basra sit and came immediately after the withdrawal of Sadr's supporters from it, which raised doubts about his complicity or his prior knowledge of the operation, with the aim of conveying a message that his presence is the one that protects the demonstrators. Sadr's supporters withdrew after a tweet of their leader on Friday, in which he blamed the Darir Square demonstrators who questioned him, considering that he was a support for them and he said that after this he will not interfere in their affairs, neither in the negative nor in the affirmative. al Sadr's tweet followed the withdrawal of his supporters, who sit in the squares in Nasiriya, Dewaniya, Basra, and Baghdad. Next article of interest. Strategic expert. America is ready to reduce its presence in Iraq if there is a new government to reach an understanding with. National Security Professor Hussein Alawi head of the ACAD Center for Strategic Studies, believes that America is ready to reduce its military presence in Iraq if a new government finds understanding with it. Alawi said in a statement to al Shark al Asset newspaper, which was followed by al Akbaria, that the vision of Mr. Muqtada al Sadr comes in the context of returning to the political context in the administration of the state noting that the United States is ready to reduce the presence of trainers and advisors, but it wants an Iraqi state and a new government to come to terms with it. A law we added, as for the issue of the crowd, it is necessary to complete the work of Alda Wani, 237, because they have a law issued by parliament, but there must be a comprehensive political agreement to end weapons outside the state and to dissolve or dissolve the armed factions. Next article of interest. And if you haven't noticed, there have been an F a lot of articles coming out lately in regards to a U.S. central bank digital currency that just two months ago the Fed chairman, Mr. Powell, claimed was not necessary for another five years. It just goes to show you, never trust the Fed. They obviously were already working on this long before he made that statement to us. Competition for Bitcoin and Ripple. CBDC to come soon. The Bank for International Settlements, BIS, published the results of a shortly conducted survey. 66 central banks participated in the survey. The BIS determined that the arrival of a CBDC is inevitable. The Bank for International Settlements, BIS, published the results of a survey in which 66 central banks participated. The survey was published on January 23, 2020 and asked participants if they are working at any level on the development of a digital coin. Inevitable arrival of a CBDC According to the document, the 66 central banks consulted represent 75% of the world's population. 21 of the central banks are from developed economies, the rest from emerging economies. In addition, the survey found that 80% are developing a CBDC in some form. According to the BIS, 40% of the banks consulted have moved from a conceptual stage to an experimental stage in their projects. This figure represents a significant increase from 2018. The survey also determined the motivations of the participating banks for developing CBDC. According to its results, Central banks in emerging economies have stronger motivations to develop CBDC. Banks in emerging economies seek domestic payment efficiency, payment security and financial inclusion. Meanwhile, advanced economies have payment security as a priority. When asked how soon central banks might have a general purpose CBDC ready, 70% responded that they are unlikely to issue a CDB in the future. However, Another 10% responded that they are very likely to issue a CBDC in the short term and 20% in the medium term. This represents a 50% increase over 2018. In line with the results of the motivations, central banks in emerging economies represent the majority of financial institutions that could launch a CBDC in the short term. Central banks of advanced economies, on the other hand, represent the percentage that said they would not to issue a CBDC in the short or medium term. Interestingly, BIS also asked the plants about the use of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ripple and concluded. 
no central banks reported any significant or wider public use of cryptocurrencies for either domestic or cross-border payments, and the usage of cryptocurrencies is considered either minimal, trivial slash no use, or concentrated in niche groups. The one difference to highlight is that, in 2019, one central bank that did not contribute in 2018 and whose jurisdiction is facing serious civil unrest, considered cryptocurrency use significant domestically and saw wider public use for cross-border payments. This can easily be the case in Venezuela or Argentina. Both countries are going through economic crises and have been reporting record levels of trading on platforms like local Bitcoin since last year. Stable coins will gain importance. The BIS also found that central banks could opt for a safe option and implement stable coins, such as Libra of Facebook, to improve the financial system. Central banks could also explore ways to combine these digital assets with the traditional system. Currently, the Asian giant China is testing the digital yuan in major cities with financial partners and institutions that are investigating an efficient way to implement the CBDC. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Check out the Currency Exchange Planner voted the number one exchange planner made by a denarian for denarians. Use the promo code, the denarian, to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always turn gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need later. The gold will always be in your possession not the banks who do not care about your well-being. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad, the dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out. Knowledge is power, over and out, the Denarian.